You're listening to the April 16th, 2018 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello there once again. I'm happy to say that at this point in time, I'm feeling a lot brighter. Here inside my washing machine, I seem to be on the delicate cycle, yet so much better than the spin. (laughs) How goes it with you? Indeed. We are aware the energy has lifted, and this is nice to sense. Such intense changes and removals are occurring at such speed in these current times for all, and causing disturbances to the mind, body, and soul. What exactly do you mean by removals? Removals of negative energies from self and the planet, from within even the very soil in which you plant seeds for food. And how is this being accomplished? By extraction, by which we mean almost literally. Imagine of a visuality likened to a whirlwind, picking up and removing energy that is of a lesser light. This is assisted greatly by the light that is building upon your planet. We would put it in words to suit that would be akin to the darker energies removing themselves in some states. States, meaning places in countries, or the state of something? Both. The darker energies cannot reside in light that is outside of their resonance. To put it simply, it is too uncomfortable. Therefore, they choose to leave, as the light causes too much sensory disturbance. It is known that a cleanup is underway, and it is rapidly doing its job. Therefore, with the extensive light flowing in, raising the vibration of the planet and all upon it, there is also the fact that this uplifting factor is able to demolish much of the darkness, leaving what we would call shadows. These shadows have no depth to them and are merely surface debris. Dearest souls, this is so very heartening to hear is it not? How strong now the power of light is taking hold? I feel the need to ask, although I don't know why, as it really isn't my thing. When you say removal, do you also mean of negative souls? For I've heard it said that arrests are taking place. Arrests of many high up in the naughty category. Yet obviously this is not brought to light in mainstream media. On this matter, we would agree that it is not really your thing or ours to comment upon. Yet, we would confirm that there is much going on behind the scenes, collectible data, etc., that indeed is more than enough evidence to convict those who have caused and brought about such damage to the planet and indeed the human race. We would go as far as to say that it is certainly not just earthly councils that shall be dealing with these souls. For it is on a universal scale that the effects of such individuals have traveled, and it is for high council within the Federation to delegate outcomes in order for order to be retrieved. Again, we make suggestion for those who are in knowledgeable strength within their light to take time to meditate deeply with these lost souls in mind. For when they recognize the extent of pain that has been caused to others through their actions, there is no need for any form of punishment. For the anguish that shall be presented within their beings will be of the highest torture brought upon by themselves. Feeling all that they have inflicted upon others and the planet They shall need so much love and forgiveness, and we would state also when truths, the real truths, of what has been hidden are revealed, it will only be the most solid rocks that shall find within themselves the heart to forgive. On a lighter note, real progress has been made of late. Perhaps look at things that seem so topsy-turvy as a positive sign that things are getting better. That is indeed a topsy-turvy statement. Dearest souls, 
your world seems so at this stage of evolution. Yet, what is topsy-turvy? We interpret it as upside down. And if you were to look at things from where we are, things would certainly veer more towards the good changes rather than what seems to be out-of-proportion disarray. And where exactly are you? We are in a different vibration. How different? Very. For where we choose to reside has no negative energy. None. We are showing you a vision blossom of through the clouds. It is the nearest we can get. For in truth, we are nowhere else. We are around, just on a different vibration. As we have spoken of before, very much like the elementals and many other planetary forms, all around, yet, resonating within a different frequency. Long has it been known to liken it to tuning into a radio. So, in order to be made visible to us, how do you tune into our frequency so as to be seen? By doing that very thing, tuning into your frequency. It is the same as we are doing now in order to be able to communicate with you. Is it difficult to do? No, not when you know how. The same as anything. It is not difficult when you know how. I know you know that so many would love you to pop in and stay around for a while. Yet I won't go on about it, as we've been down this road before many, many times. We've been down so many roads before. And each one assisting in the understanding of reasoning behind your stay upon Earth. We understand one's position, disposition... We try our utmost to bring comfort and encouragement to you, those of you who are wearing thin, losing hope. Yet, we ask that you renew your enthusiasm. We ask you to keep on keeping on. Do not give up when you are so near the finish line. With the greatest of respect, White Cloud spoke those very words back in 2012. Six years ago, and we haven't given up. Not yet. Many have veered off track. Many have found their way back. And oh, so many have jumped on board since then. Have they not? Yes, they have. All the time, new souls join the ride. Yet for those of us who feel like we've been on board for a thousand years or so, and probably have, this end game is proving hard going. A bit like pregnancy when the last quarter seems longer than the entire nine months. And we could not have put that any better ourselves, Blossom. The birthing of this new age is so close at hand. Have you not been hearing in your mind, don't give up? Over and over? Yes, and it's encouraging. So many, judging by emails sent in, are hanging on by a thread and in need of a boost. Hey ho, been down this road also. I feel this is why the event situation took off as it did this time. (laughs) We don't want saving, we understand it's not about that. Yet, without doubt, we are in desperate need of a leg up. Bring on the cavalry and all that. Dearest Blossom, dearest souls, the event shall take place in its divine timing. And when it does, one will understand why it happened when it does, and not before. Yet, meanwhile, we are not laying idle Have you not noticed that which we have spoken of regarding displays in your skies? Yes, I've been sent in strange oddities showing up here and there. Yet, as I say, much goes unnoticed by many. I'm in the fortunate position to be sent such things, and not all of us have the time to sit on our computers all day seeking such things out. Hello? (laughs) Suddenly my heart is quickening. Let it be known 
these things that seem to you as small offerings are gauged in order to be kept under the radar for now, not causing too much disturbance, yet enough to be recognized as different, as stepping up. These symptoms are the precursor to the big display, the greatest show on earth, as we have spoken of in other communications. There shall be a build-up, taking things much further than that which is presented now. And adjacent to this shall be the build-up within yourselves, within your soul, within your being. We say to you, there shall be no questioning, there shall be no doubts, or perhaps, or maybes. It shall be felt throughout your planet by all when this event is about to present. Yet, as we say, before it does so, phenomena shall be almost commonplace, rather than that which you would say is random at this time. I've also been made aware of the phenomena, which seems to be popping in my head right now, so I feel you want me to ask, regarding the sky looking as if it is split down the middle. If it was a painting, it looks like one half is completely different from the other, as if the wrong half of the picture has been put back, for want of a way of explaining it. What would you say about this? We would say that this is yet another sign, that the event is drawing ever closer. Yet what actually is taking place? Blossom, as you know, everything is energy, and energy is palpable and can be manipulated, woven into, presenting as any form at all. To change your sky into a half-and-half outlook is we say with a very large tongue-in-cheek effect, as easy as photoshopping on your computers. And yet I get from that this is not photoshopped from our computers, is it? No. Why are you showing me a dice being thrown? Because, dearest Blossom, we are reminding you that this is all part of the game, the game in which you reside. Sometimes you throw a six and move up six spaces. Other times, just a one. Either way, you are in the game. Yep, that game where we landed on Earth with no instruction manual. We would correct you there. The manual is inside of you. That is part of the game, is it not? To discover the manual inside? For once you have found it, page by page by page, brings you into alignment with the rules. And the rules being that there are no rules. Indeed. And yet, that is not to say that the manual does not present you with how to play the game. Sometimes I really feel, albeit momentarily, that I get it. And it seems so simple. It's just a matter of being coming from love. Always. When you allow every breath to be of from love, there are no snakes to stumble upon, only ladders to climb. I assume the more we move into the higher vibrations, the longer we're able to remain in this knowledge and make it work for us. So simple, yet somehow, when in the density of Earth, so complex. Complex if you choose. Simple if you choose. Either way, there is no denying you are love. There is no denying you are all being love. Bringing planet Earth into the higher place of existence that was once agreed upon. Universal gatherings make your planet the talk of the town. Focus on this fact, that within all this talk, there is much excitement. For these changes that are upon you are upon all that have agreed to see this divine plan through, 
and gratitude to each one is offered. To be received in the form of vast waves of love sweeping over through you. Giving you courage and knowing that it is so close now, this time, this eventuality. You know this in your hearts and in your beings. Correct. Not knowing the when can be frustrating. Yet I'm guessing that if we did, it would change the course of history. Correct. Such excitement at your door. Dearest, most blessed souls, be open to all strangeness and let it lighten your hearts, your beings. In love, we remain with you. You can feel us. Each one of you can feel this knowing of what is to take place. This is why you continue on being the light, showing the way. And may we say, what a grand job you are doing. May I, on behalf of myself and many, thank you for your encouragement and support. It truly does help to keep us going. This is good to hear. Yet it was an agreement made by all that these messages come through to help you remember, to recognize who you are. Light love. Through and through. And within this recognition, allowing the energy of this light love to transform your planet back into its former self. In love, we take our leave. Many thanks. <laughs>